Hey everybody, so in this video we are going to see how to automate customer follow-ups using Zoho Flow. So I just want to give you a brief walkthrough of what we are going to be dealing with. So what happens is that as soon as an appointment is marked as completed inside Zoho Bookings, this acts as a trigger. So when this action is completed, it navigates to Flow and in Flow we'll have a decision block to determine which service is being completed. We'll go ahead and use the delay function to delay our email from being sent. So if it's a dental reminder, you can set it up to a delay of six months. So if it is a uh, automobile checkup, you can set it up for every three months or whichever duration you like. So post this reminder, what happens is Zoho Flow sends an email to the customer stating that they are due for an appointment. Once you have set up the flow, this process is entirely automated and you need not worry about messing around with this settings at all. We'll create our new flow. Click on create flow. Here we'll give a name to our flow. We'll click on create. So as I've told you earlier, so there needs to be some action or some application that acts as a trigger. So in this case, it would be Zoho bookings. We'll click on configure. We'll search for bookings. So Zoho bookings offers five different triggers. Out of these five different triggers, we are going to be using mark as completed trigger. We'll click on next. We'll click on done. We'll go back to the drawing board to see what's the next step. So as soon as an appointment is marked as completed, we'll set up a decision block. So we'll do the same over here. Here you have the decision block, you will simply drag and drop it here. So as soon as you drag and drop your decision block over here, you will get something called as conditions. Since a business has a wide array of services, say for example, if you run a dental clinic, you might have root canal treatments, you can have dental checkups, you will have general consultations. So how will Zoho Flow know that which service is getting completed? Because only based on the service that is being completed will send a corresponding reminder so i'll demonstrate the same for two different services over here one will be general checkup and the other would be root canal treatment so we are going to separate different services so first we'll click on choose so from the appointment marked as completed we'll choose the service name if service name equals as I've said earlier, I have two different services here. We'll copy the entire thing. Since this is case sensitive, make sure that you give the exact name. If service name equals root canal treatment, a reminder for root canal treatment is sent. So first we'll set up a flow for this, then we'll come back to this decision block one second. We'll click on done. So we will rename this condition. We'll name it as root canal treatment. So we'll go back to the drawing board again. So as soon as we have set up a decision block and determined which service is being completed, we'll use a delay function and we will send that link. So we'll do that. We'll put in a delay block in over here. Once we bring in a decision block, Zoho Flow asks for a delay period. So we have we will specify the delayed duration. In this case, it will be six months. We'll click on done. In the same tab, instead of a certain delay duration, you can set until a certain date as well. You can click on delay until, and you can choose a specific date. We'll click on done. Next, we'll send an email. So to do that, we'll click on the notification option. We'll use the send email block. We'll drop it under here. So the send email block has a few things you need to fill up. The first one is from which address you wish to send this email. So it will be my super admin's email address. So I am choosing my super admin's email address. Which customer will we be sending these emails to? So since this is a dynamic process, we will not put in a specific email address, but rather a variable which fetches the address of the customer dynamically. So to do this, we we'll click on this appointment marked as completed. So we'll search for customer email address.
we'll put in a subject since this is related to root canal treatment i'll just say checking up on your root canal treatment so here you can put in your message so this will be the subject of our email dear customer you have visited us on we'll be putting in the date using a variable so we have give we will be giving the book another appointment link as well so you can either give a simple text based email or you can send your customers a professionally designed email template as well i'll be doing it for the next service so for this we'll use dynamic variables to fetch the appointment date so here is the variable this variable will add the necessary information Next, we'll paste the booking link to do access your booking link as usual. Go back to bookings. Here, you can get your booking link. We have pasted the link over here. So we'll click on done. That's it. So, what happens is when an appointment is marked as completed, decision it goes into the decision blocks. If it's a root canal treatment, a delay of six months is set up. So, after six months, they'll get a re email. with all the information we have set it up over there now we are will be doing the same for a different service this service is called as dental appointment so we'll be doing it for dental appointment i wish to reiterate on this so make sure that the name of the service is exactly same as the one you have in bookings since this is case sensitive Now click on that. We'll rename this condition. Again, we'll set up a delay. This delay I want it for every eight months. We'll click on that. Next, we'll put in the send email task. We'll go into notification. Send email task. This email I wish to receive it from super admin. I want this email to go to my customers. So I'll go here. This variable fetches the customer email address. Subject line will be. So here you can mention your subject. During the last time when I told you this, I told you that you can have professionally designed email templates. So we have already designed such a template. We'll just copy the HTML code from that template and paste it here. So we have used Be Free to design this template. You can use any other third-party tools of your choice. We'll click on this option. We'll delete everything that's present here, and we'll paste this. Once we have pasted this, if you click on this, you will get the template. So here we have two dynamic fields. One is appointment date and the staff who was responsible for this appointment. So we'll put put those details over here. So we are done. So all you have to do is you can you have to replicate the same process for as many services as you have. So once you have done all this, what we'll be doing is you will click on this. Or what it does is it tells you if there are any errors with your flow. If there are no errors, it shows us we have successfully set up Zoho bookings. Make an update in Zoho. So yes, we have to make an update update in Zoho. So make sure to turn this flow on. This flow has been switched on. So, just for demonstration purposes, what I'll do is I'll reduce the delay duration, so you'll be able to see how the output will look like. Once you make any changes, currently it's in draft. If you make any changes at all, click on Apply Changes. Click on Apply. and make sure that your flow is turned on now let's make a sample appointment in bookings we have made an appointment now let's go back into bookings 
here is our appointment so let's wait for our appointment to be completed our appointment is ongoing we will currently mark it as completed and let's see what happens in flow this triggers an action in flow did the flow receive the trigger from Zoho bookings so how do we ensure all this we'll go into the history tab so there are three tabs summary tab builder and history in summary you will see all the information basic information regarding flow then in builder you will do all the configurations in history like if this task has it been executed in the past or when did it execute so you will get all the information from the history tab so we'll wait for a few minutes and check this is because we have set up a delay of two minutes so post two minutes this flow will happen so it comes in appointment is marked as completed it checks whether the appointment is root kennel or dental appointment since it is dental appointment it takes this direction and flow instructs a delay of two minutes so post two minutes our email address will receive an email since we have some time we'll check what's in our emails so currently we have just the appointment scheduled email you can ask why haven't we received the mark as completed email from Zoho Bookings? We haven't received that email because we have turned that email off. I'll show you. Under services, dental appointment, service notifications for customers. You can see that the email notification for mark as completed has been turned off. If this has been turned on, customers will receive a mark as completed email as well. So we have the email from Zoho Flow. We'll check flow if this is the exact email. So we'll go into history. Yes, our flow has been completed. Appointment is marked as completed, decision, delay, and email has been 10, sent at 1047. So we'll go into email. We'll check this email. Dear customer, guess who's due for a tooth spa? We have all the information here. Appointment date with time, dentist name. Then you have your book an appointment button. Then you have your other option. And this process is completely automated. So when a customer, when a new customer books an appointment right now, six months or eight months post the appointment, they'll get a notification. So this is how you can automate customer follow-ups in Zoho bookings. So I will show you the pricing plan of Zoho flow as well. So Zoho Flow offers three plans. In the free plan, you can have five flows and you can have 100 tasks per month. So what is a task basically? So in Builder, when the control goes from appointment mark as completed to decision, one task is consumed. When it goes from decision to delay, another task is completed. So you can have up to 100 tasks per month. So to execute this single uh, flow, you, you will require one, two, three, and four tasks. You won't be able to automate this process beyond 100 tasks. If you want to have more tasks and more flows, you can opt for the standard plan, which offers you 20 flows and 1000 tasks per month. So, this is about automating customer follow ups using Zoho Bookings. If you have any questions regarding this, we'll happily help you out. All you need to do is you can reach out to us at hello at zohobookings.com. Please send an email. We'll be happy to help you regarding any of this. Thank you.